We're now joined by Brigham Young head football coach Kalani Sataki on Sikkim 365 Radio. I spoke with Dave Aranda today, and he said a lot of amazing things about you. And that just wasn't like, okay, they're next on our schedule. He told me that at times you guys were in the same, like at Gary Anderson's house, barbecue, watching film. Uh, do you remember, recollect some of those times with Dave Aranda as well? Oh, yeah. I remember many times that I remember making the trip out to Wisconsin to to do some talk, some football, um, talk, talk, talk with him. And uh, we've spoken many times about philosophy on defense and, uh, you know, just things to do as, as coaches. And uh, I'm just I've known him throughout my whole coaching career. He's he's got great connections to our coaching staff and the, and the coaches on our staff. And, uh, you know, he's just a great young. Uh, he's just a great man, first of all, and uh, a great mentor to young men. And, and I've been it's an honor for, for me to call him my friend and so it, it's really cool to see what he's doing there in Waco and I'm really excited about this matchup you know because I get to see my buddy but then we get to compete on the field and I I got some more friends on that staff too and I'm just really, I'm watching watching the film has been really fun to watch the, you know to see them and and the success that they're having this season so what is it like week of when you're going to play people that you are close to like Jeff Grimes and Eric Mateos and and Dave Aranda that are all here in Waco uh you know your friends until it's is it like Friday night? Is there a cutoff day where the friendship's on pause and then it restarts once the game's over on Saturday? No, they're all my. They're they're, they're always going to be my guys, you know. So like, the, the the thing is, we don't play the game. We 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 coach, and once you get into the game, uh, all the game mechanics take over, and then uh, and then you, you just know that you know afterwards you're going to embrace them and give them a hug, and uh, those guys know I love them, you know. And I'm I'm really thankful for the things that they did here. Uh, speaking about uh, Eric Mateos and 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 Jeff Grimes, and and so they 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 sacrificed and worked so hard for me here, and uh, helped me build this program and I, I'll always be forever grateful to them because of, of their hard work and sacrifice and I became really close to those guys you know I got to see uh, we, we became really really close friends and and um, and, and brothers and and I, I have nothing but love for those gentlemen they get to be at home and and close to home and then you know they're, they're Texans they're, they're the guys that are talking about Texas all the time out here in Provo Utah and it's nice that they get to go back there and, and get to coach in a wonderful uh, university like Baylor and, and and for a wonderful coach like Dave Miranda, so I'm happy for them. It, we're just going to have a lot of fun with this game, but let it be settled on the field with the players. Well, Coach, they've been glowing in their praise of uh, their time at your program, and they've been tremendous additions to uh, Waco, Texas so far. When popping on the tape, I mean, you, you recognize the offense, I'm sure, the RVO and Jeff Grimes. Uh, Mateos has been tremendous with what he's done to boost the offensive line. Uh, what do you see on film when watching the Bears? What are some of your first impressions? Highly efficient offense. I mean, I, I'm uh, for a first year, uh, uh, you know, offensive install like that to be clicking so well. And 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 uh, listen, you're playing against some really good defenses and some great talent. And so, but to have a quarterback that hasn't thrown an interception all year long, and to have uh, a team and an old line as physical as they are, and with the so that's complemented with a with great talent in in the skill positions as with the receivers, tight ends, and running backs. I mean, it's a dangerous team. And, and so, uh, you know, looking at, at what they've done all year, uh, I'm sure that um, a lot of the, the the mishaps along the way were just more self-inflicted than anything. And that's a, a sign of a well-coached team, sign of a great culture that's there that's there with the players. And uh, it's something that's really familiar. We've seen that happen before and seen some familiar plays and uh, the same style. And, and so it's it's really cool to watch. And, and I know Dave Aranda is a great coach, man. He's, he's, it's just, it's just a matter of time before that thing becomes a monster and might already be one this year. I know you guys are coming off a tough game Saturday uh, against Boise State. This is a game that's so ironic with Baylor. It's the year that realignment occurred. It's the year that it became expansion with Brigham Young being a part of the Big 12 in the future. Uh, and it's a late non-conference game for someone like Baylor in the Big 12. Is it ironic that you're playing them this year, the same year when things changed over the summer? Hey, everything happens for a reason. Uh, we're, we're really excited about our partnership with all the universities in the Big 12. We're excited about being part of that that, that wonderful conference and uh, looking forward to it. And obviously this game is like a, uh, uh, you know, uh, probably a, just a, a – quicker version and, and something that's more short ter short term, but looking forward to having many games out there in Waco and, and uh, being around that fan base that, that I know they're really passionate about their team. And so uh, this is something that we're embracing 100%, looking forward to the matchup. The fact that we have uh, a lot of 
familiar friends on the other side and even on the on the field is something that we're excited about too. So, um, you know, just looking forward to this game, looking forward to the matchup, and 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 looking forward to the future as well. Knowing that BYU had had wanted to be back in a conference for for some time and was you know looking for the right opportunity to make that happen football wise. From a coach's perspective, I know that decision is made above your head and that it's not something that they're going to loop you in on until final decisions are made. But from your perspective, what was like? What was that like? from BYU's coach's perspective, watching BYU get welcomed in and, and be a part of all this? Well, I'm really excited. I mean, I, I played for the legendary Lavelle Edwards, mm -hmm. and uh, and I remember being a player and, and people always questioning our schedule um, and, and, and the, the, the toughness of it, you know. And so we had a little bit of that last year, and um, – and so it's just good to be invited to a, a wonderful conference like the Big 12 with such quality opponents and, and such quality schools and, and fan bases. That's something we're really excited about. And the, the funny thing is that um, it's it's not till another couple of years, but the, the excitement is hard to, to, to hold back here from all the fans and, and even the players. And the, the excitement is something that, that we can really use to help, help the momentum of the program. But uh, our focus is completely on playing ball that week, playing mm -hmm. the game, of the week when this announcement came on we it was the day before the utah game i announced it to the team and the team was just like that's great coach so let's let's get on to utah already mm -hmm. and and um you know these guys are really excited about this matchup with baylor especially coming off of a loss you know that um losses can sting but they they, they hurt even more if you if you don't learn from them and so we're gonna learn as much as we can and try to be a better better team uh, when we when we come up to texas this weekend and I'm really looking forward to the matchup and, and the fact that it's going to be a tough team uh really test us i think we can find out a lot about ourselves in this game on that turnover front coach i was reading an article and you had mentioned that that was something you guys needed to clean up coming off of the, the loss to boise state does that make it you know i mean that's always a goal anyways but especially when you're watching this baylor team that seems to collect turnovers uh, by the pairs at least weekly of course and then that's this i mean the, the, when you when you have a defense that is uh, coached by Dave Aranda and his staff, they're going to be aggressive. They're going to find ways to make plays, and that usually means turnovers. And so we we need to be mindful of what we're doing. But at the same time, I don't want us to be complacent in our game plan. I want us to be aggressive and utilize our talent on our team. And um, you know, turnovers are part of the game sometimes. But uh, it's just it's just uh, for us, it's it's kind of an uh, out of the ordinary deal when we turn the ball over that many times, especially back to back, like how we did it with fumbles and ball security. So that's something that's not really. Uh, uh, you know, that's out of character for our program and our team. We're definitely going to get back on it and make sure that our guys learn from it. But I want to make sure that we stay aggressive and that we play our style of football. The last thing I want to do is go in there um, being afraid to make a mistake rather than being excited to make a play. You mentioned Lavelle Edwards. You played for him. You don't see many Lavelle Edwards anytime. Uh, there's not a lot of guys that hung around or are no longer staying at one program for a long time like Bobby Bowden, Tom Osborne, and others. How rare was he, and, and what was that like to play for him? Amazing. And, and for a, a man to help mentor me, and I'm, I'm very thankful that I, I got to be the head coach here at BYU. Um, my first year was the last year of his life, and I, I was able to spend some time with him uh, weekly and get tons of uh, advice and, and uh, mentoring from him. He's been that, there for me, and he and his family. I have a great relationship with his family. This is what Lavelle was all about. Was It's not just about football. It's, a, it's actually about caring about me as a person, and I felt that. I think we spent less time talking about football, more about my role as a, as a human being and as a as a person and, and a contributor to the community, and I thank him so much for it. And, Hopefully we can honor him in the way that we play this game. He's the father of BYU football. And so uh, he's done some great things and, and changed so many lives. And I think um, it'd be great for us to, to, you know, respect the game, but respect our opponents and play the the, the style that he loves. We, we play with sportsmanship and class and try to do as best as we can. It's hard to do in, in a physical competitive game like football, but we try to do it because that's what Lavelle taught me when I was a player. And I, and I really enjoyed it. And so I'm hoping to give these guys on our team the same type of experiences that, that, Lavelle provided for me as a player. Now, Coach, I know that you were a fullback when you played. That position is almost an endangered species now. <laughs> I'm very pro bringing the fullback back. Baylor scored a fullback touchdown this year. I might have, you know, just seeing one, just shed a little bitty tear. I know you have fullback on your roster. Uh, can can we can we start a movement? Let's bring the fullback back. 
All you have to do is be patient. Football is a is a is a it recycles itself around, mm-hmm. and um, sooner or later, these teams that have success that do have a fullback on the roster will realize that that's the X factor. But we don't want everyone to know about it, you know. But, but I, I I also want everyone to know that fullbacks can be great coaches too. I'm hoping yeah. to get to, to get to that to that level someday. But fullbacks can coach football. You, it, it's it's just like old linemen can. It, it's those guys that never really had a, a star role. You know, I played. 50 games at BYU and I scored one touchdown. That's the life of a fullback and I'm honored and say that that was the best touchdown in BYU history. (laughs) (laughs) It's like when Emmett Smith was inducted to the Hall of Fame, he mentioned Daryl Johnston. It's kind of like that position is attached to the great running backs as well. If you don't mind, just a couple of more questions. Again, Kalani Sataki, head coach at Brigham Young, Baylor Brigham Young Saturday at uh, at McLean Stadium. Coach Aranda said when he was at Wisconsin, he was coaching against Brigham Young. And Gary Anderson walked up to him, and his, the greatest compliment he heard about an opponent was Gary told him, Dave, don't screw this up. And what he meant is Wisconsin had kind of an edge. I think they were leading the game because Gary knew how tough Brigham Young football players and team is. It's almost like you have to cut the head off the snake to eventually beat them. What does that say about your program? I think it says a lot about the, the brand that BYU brings. Is it's guys that are going to play really hard, regardless of what the scoreboard says. And uh, I mean, these guys appreciate the game so much and respect it so much that that uh, you know it, it's been that way for years. And that's something that Lavelle Edwards started when he was here, and it's gone all the way through with with. Gary Croton as a head coach, Bronco Mendenhall, and now myself. It's it's something that I think this is is expected. That's the standard for our guys to play really hard, tough physical football, and and uh, with with high effort. And so that's the that's the key. And we I think when you do that, you can you can live with the with the uh, results afterwards. But respecting the game means that you live every second of it and you appreciate every second of it. These guys battle for so many days out in the year for only twelve guaranteed opportunities, and all that is is just minutes in the game if you're lucky. And so why waste a second? We're hoping to to have great memories with this with the 60 minutes that we're going to have in, in Waco and, and really honor our opponents as we do it. We're excited to share the field with Baylor and to be in front of their fans and to have a lot of, a lot of fun doing it. And whatever happens, if, we, if we're able to play our brand of football, regardless of what, what happens in the game, we'll be happy with the, way, with the way it ends. Well, Coach, you know one of the most legendary games in the history of, uh, of Baylor was against BYU and Steve Young. It was mm-hmm. back and forth and back and forth. Coach Taff has told us the story many times that Steve Young ran to him and grabbed him after the game saying, what a great game. So uh, looking forward to hoping getting one of those again. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure the defensive coaches don't want to hear it. You know, you have two, you, you have two head coaches that are defensive coordinators that are going to like, oh, that's like the worst thing you want to hear. But um, but you know, as, as, as long as the guys are battling and and and, and uh, enjoying the game, respecting it, I think we would we'll deal with whatever happens. I I think we we want to we want to give it our best shot. I know Bader wants to as well, and and then uh, you know whatever happens after the game, we'll shake hands and be friends as always. One last question: uh, You did recruit Apu, right? The Siaki out of uh, Utah. He's now from LSU and now at Baylor. What do you remember about his recruitment? We were his first offer. I know his family really well really close with with a lot of his family, extended family, great young man, so physical. We were his first offer um, way back when, when he was a young kid. I think it was back in 2016 or 17, but um, we saw something special in him. He's got this great charisma about him. Mm -hmm. He's just a fun, loving person, you know, and and, uh, he's he's great to have on a team. And and I think that he's got this great connection with Dave Aranda, and he loves being out there. And I'm looking forward to giving him a big hug, man. I, I love watching him play and such a great I think he's doing his family proud by by enjoying every second I just mentioned the guys having fun with every second that they're out on the field this guy has fun in everything that he does and and uh, it's been it's been an honor to know him and his family and looking forward to seeing him on Saturday well let me tell you what's been an honor first of all thank you for being a part of the show but when all hell broke loose back at the end of July with the SEC Oklahoma and Texas our audience exploded and Brigham Young fans flocked to listen to us watch us and we listen to them as well it has been a fun ride since that time and i know they're thrilled to have you on our lineup today as well uh kalani thank you so much good luck i know it's a tough week because of all the emotions but it also sounds like it's going to be a fun week thank you so much for your time and good luck going forward appreciate the time guys thank you so much thank you god bless yes sir that's brigham young head football coach kalani sataki
you you can the, the he got he has the personality and and uh, an amazing at what he's done i know they're coming off a tough loss to boise state and speaking of that speaking of boise state jeremiah dickey will join us at some point later in the week ty detmer former great at brigham young will join us as well this is sikkim 365 radio idealmri.com they can help find out whatever is so painful in your shoulder your knee your back wherever it is whether it's a torn ligament or a muscle idealmri.com can help save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in an mri theirs is 497 dollars or less every single time they'll also help you with the offset of the even that cost with your insurance they'll help you with that go to idealmri.com for more information they have a state-of-the-art technology mri machine they will find out what hurts and then tell your doctor and send them images and tell you as well and it's a place where you don't have to wait very long you get in, you get in, and they are ready for you in the Central Texas Marketplace in Waco, idealmri.com.